Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree and today we got a really cool show for y'all. Uh, it's mist and rain out here. We're at the Galvis Hardware Store for the fifth annual Black Pot Cook-Off. We got 12, 15, 20 cooks. Not exactly sure how many we got out. Uh, they're all going to be cooking different things, just so they're cooking it in a black iron pot. So uh, it's going to really be unique today. Uh, it's, it's not that hot. It's kind of rainy out here, but uh, we're raising money for dreams come true. So y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. Tide line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. Sitting on a pipeline Waiting for the sun to shine Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens That's how we live And it sure feels fine All right, let me get your name and uh, what you got going today Sean Posha, I'm from here in Prairieville And I'm cooking pasta live All right, good luck All right uh, name's Jason Katwa. I'm from Prairieville, Louisiana, and I'm cooking, I just call it a meat alaya. Meat alaya. Good luck. Thank you, brother. Cody Martin. I'm from Grand Point, and I'm cooking a sauce pecan this morning. Hope to be a judge also. Hope to be a judge? Yeah. Oh, I thought you'd been a judge at a competition. There we go. Good luck. Thank you, sir. This is Tim Harp from Prairieville, Louisiana, and I'm Brian Boudreaux from Morapaw, Louisiana. What y'all cooking? Uh, we're going to try to cook turtle sauce pecan. Hey, bro. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Nico Maglasha from here in Prairieville, cooking grits alaya. Oh, yeah. Good luck, bro. Thank you. Hey, uh, my name is William Vadney. I'm from right here in Prairieville, and I'm cooking a deer sauce pecan. That's my favorite, bro. Good luck to you. Yeah, my name's uh, Donald Trump. I'm from uh, Washington, and I'm cooking some uh, possum. Nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kevin Bush, and I'm cooking uh, deer meat uh, spaghetti. All right. Yeah, Prairieville, uh, Galvez, Louisiana. How you got you? it, brother. Good luck. <laughs> now. All right. Destiny Burnett right here in Prairieville, and I'm making chicken and sausage jambalaya. Yes, indeed. Good luck. Thank you. I'm Garrett Reeves. This is Chad Casanova, and we'll be cooking a chicken and sausage pasta Whoa. I can't wait to try that. Good luck, y'all. Thank you. Thank you Jim O'Banion, Diane O'Banion. We're cooking a backbone pork stew and she's cooking white beans and tasso oh i'm in i'm in good luck to y'all thank, thank you jay russo from gonzalez and i'm cooking pastelaya yes indeed good luck buren denham angel leblanc guys from galvez america we're cooking crawfish bisque what crawfish bisque hey good luck to y'all thank you thanks uh wayne noble from Prairieville, cooking a jambalaya. Yes, indeed. Good luck to you. Thank you. Steve Brockman, Prairieville. Jeff Nickens, Gonzalez. What y'all cooking? We're going to cook a jam skeddy. Hey, good luck to y'all. Thank you, man. What's up? I'm Chad. This is Ronnie Porsche. We are uh, doing a little smoked meat and butter bean stew. Oh, yeah. Good luck, bro. That Thank sounds you. good. Hi, I'm Yvette Grigne with my team. I'm from Prairieville. And I am cooking corn and shrimp and andouille creole. Oh, I can't wait. Hey, good luck to you. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'm Luke Fletcher from Gonzales, Louisiana. I'm also uh, Wayne Oncall from Gonzales, Louisiana. What y'all cooking? We're going to be cooking a pasalaya today. All right, bro. Good luck to y'all. All right, Thanks, Rodney. Sir. Thank you. Hi, I'm Hannah Smith from Thibodeau, Louisiana, and we are making blackberry dumplings. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Rusty Smith from Denham Springs. We're making pork jambalaya. Awesome. Hey, good luck to y'all. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, my name is Micah Ingracia. This is Nicholas Ingracia. We're from Santa Mar, Louisiana, and we are cooking a backbone stew. Yes, indeed. Hey, good luck to y'all. Thank you. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 
by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Porsche's Sausage, located in French Settlement, is bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor in customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites hog crackers, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on site butcher has all your specialties smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou Blend. Come and experience Porsche's sausage. It's a wonderful thing. You're, You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all made it over to Chad Porsche with Porsche Sausage. How's it going this morning? Wonderful, wonderful. It's, it's not. It's rain. Yeah, it's not hot. Oh, no. It's nice. It's nice. Now, now tell me what you're cooking. We're doing a little uh, butter beans and some smoked meat. Got a little tasso, undoing, a little sausage. Even put a little bit of our pork jerky we make in it. Oh, wow, wow. And, Something and, a little different. All right, y'all made it to another cook. I got beer and denim over here. Bro, tell me what you're cooking. Crawfish bisque. And I'm going to tell you what, y'all, this looks so good. Where does this recipe come from? It's a little combination of a family recipe and a little bit of John Fos and kind of tweaked it out to my liking. You, you've been cooking this a while? About 15 years. Now, it's going to be pretty hard in there for them judges not to get a hold of some of them heads in there. I, th I think you really got something here, bro. I got 250 heads I'm putting in it, so they'll have plenty. Son of a gun. Hey, good luck to you. Thank you, sir. Y'all made it over to some more cooks, bro. What y'all got in here? I'm doing what they call a jam sketty. Jam scatty. Now, can we see it? Can we look in there, or is it we can't open the lid right now? Uh, I can show you a peek of it. Oh, we get a little peek. Yeah, Let's see. Peek. Just a peek. What you say? Wow. Now, now you call it a jam scatty because because it's like a jambalaya, a pasalaya, and a spaghetti. And a spaghetti all, all in one. one. I like that. I like that. Something different. All right, man. Tell me what you got in the pot. Chicken and sausage pasalaya. That smells really, really good. And, and you was telling me the recipe is from. All the secret ingredients are from um, Fire Marshal Butch Browning, a Louisiana State Fire Marshal's office. He taught me um, everything with this, and I've just been kind of rolling on with it. Gotcha, gotcha. And I, I like how that chicken is all uh, blowing up in there, and that's and that's what I like in there. I got some pieces that'll stay together, and some of it kind of just shreds up in there. And that's what I like. Hey, uh, good luck to y'all. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, man. Tell me what you got in there. But well, since I was a kid. I was born and raised to do a lot of butchery back home, Bill Platt, Louisiana. This is the first thing we cooked after we butchered the hog. Oh. And I was over it gotcha. at nine years old. So pork bone, backbone stew, you can't beat it. Dark, so, rich gravy over rice, that's a meal. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So you Fall off the ball. You've cooked this for 50 years or so? Cooked it for several years. Did it for a lot of benefits. Do it for a lot of cook-offs. Yes. All right, now we got another cook here with you back here in the back. And uh, what we got in the pot over here? This here is uh, white beans with tasso, and it's got a bunch of really good seasonings in it. I'm from Illinois, but I moved here uh, to Louisiana about 18 years ago, met Jim, and we love the jitterbug. Awesome, awesome. It <laughs> smells in the so pot. good. All right, we got uh, right now it's just sausage, chicken, and pork, and then we're going to add our rice and stuff in a few minutes. Um, it's my papa's recipe. That's why we're out here. His name was uh, Gary Burnett. He used to cook pretty much all over the Jambalaya Festival, everything every year. He passed uh, almost two years now, and uh, this is my first time cooking. So. All in right. A in a competition anyway. Right. So. Well, I'm going to tell you, you got some really good flavors coming out of there. I yeah. can smell it. Can thank smell you. It really thank good. you. I'm excited. I can't wait to taste it. Hey, good luck. Good. Thank you so much. All right. What's in there? You got to tell me what's in there. So we have just berries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, and in a little bit, we're going to add some dough that's rising right now, and it's going to be just like some dropped dumplings with some berries. Sweet I'm, side of things. I'm digging this. Now, where, where does this recipe come from? Honestly, my dad's trial and error. Okay. We just came up with the plan one day and we just made it work. <laughs> so just kind of going off of it. 
That looks like a bowl of berries that I could just jump into and swim around in there. I would uh, recommend it's really hot. It's really hot. <laughs> gotcha. Well, when it cools off, though, I'm going to have to try it. Okay. Sounds Thank good. You. Thank you. All right, man. Tell me what's in the pot. It's going to be a pork jambalaya. And uh, it's my own recipe from years and years of experimenting. Gotcha. And, gotcha. Um, I'm kind of happy. I, I have one concern today, but we're going to see where it's going to go. Let's look in there and see what we got. Oh, yeah. Look at the thickness in there. They're going to stir it around. and Look at that. Man, what kind of meats are in there? That's pork. You got sausage, andouille, tasso, and pork stew meat. Wow. I can't wait to try it. Hey, good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. We do appreciate it. All right, bro. What's in there? Well, right now we just got, well, I guess that's what they would call the trinity. We just got the bell peppers, bell um, celery, onions, garlic, the vegetables, browning them up. And at the end of the product, what we're going to have? We're going to have, hopefully it'll be turtle sauce pecan. Oh, yeah. That, now, that's one of my favorites. People don't know about turtle all over. Well, I, 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 I see you got some good help. I got some, I, I'm training. I got some good help right here, Mr. Timothy Harp. And, and, and that's what it takes for and that's, yep. for the youth to learn. To learn. He, yep, he wants, you know, finally got some young guys that want to enjoy cooking and want to learn because a lot of them, they don't want to do that no more. Yeah, yeah. But he, he, him and his girlfriend, they, um, they want to come out and they want to learn and cook and awesome. enjoy it. And so, that's what it's all for. Everybody coming out, having a good time, yeah, raising money for the kids. Raising money for the kids, because if you notice, all these folks over here, they got a lot of old folks over here. <laughs> so we need some of these young folks yes. to start stepping up. You're right, bro. Hey, good luck to y'all. Right, Thank you, sir. It. All right, y'all. Tell me what's in the pot. Well, we got some some sausage cooking up right now inside the pot. And at the end result, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a hopefully a pretty good pasalai today. And this recipe comes from. Man, it's pretty much seasoned to taste you. Whatever you got, you throw in there, and uh, that's it. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, uh, did you bring some things to throw along in there cause since we had a few things to throw in? We have a few things. Gotcha. So gotcha. we're going to do the sausage, which we have cooking right now. We uh, have some temple meat we're going to put in, and we have a little chicken that's going to go in there also. What uh, what kind of noodles y'all put in? We're going to use spaghetti noodles. We like the long noodles for our pasta life. That's what I like in mine, too. Hey, good luck to y'all. All thank right, Rodney, thank Appreciate you. It. All right, man. You uh, you got everything going in the pot in there. Uh, you got that sauce pecan, deer sauce pecan. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about the recipe. Uh, start off with a good root base, uh, good fresh vegetables, saute everything down, uh, low and slow, good, good over time. It's a good, good sweet texture in the end, and uh, hopefully everything comes out. Yes, indeed. Now, now, you went and killed the deer for him? Oh, I did. No, no, no. I had to call quite a few people to get the deer meat. We had to go. Uh, we had to call to get some uh, deer in. I had to call to get some. Now, what do you serve it on? Uh, over rice. Over Better rice. rice. Some like noodles. Some like rice. I'm a rice guy. Yeah, rice. Rice is my way. I, I love. I love it over rice. Well, uh, good All luck, right, bro. Tell me what's in the pot. A little pasta laya. We on our way. Uh, we got some chicken. We got some pork. Some sausage in here. A little onions. Uh, the holy, the holy, uh, what do they call it? The, the old uh, trinity. The old trinity. That yes. Is. And I, you've got a real deep flavor coming out of there. And, and, and I'm not sure if that was that smoked sausage coming out of there. or uh, you, Now, this is going to be a pasta lye, right? Pasta what, what kind of noodles do you use? Uh, we're going to use the number three thin spaghetti. Ah. That's one of my favorites, too. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. Now, uh. You make it a little spicy, or you make it a little, what's, what are we it's, going it's for? Gonna have, it's going to have a little kick to it. It's going to have a little kick. All right. Yeah, yeah. This going to be good. Awesome, bro. Hey, good luck. All right, bro, what you got in the pot? I got some sausage cooking right now. Now, uh, what you cooking today? Um, I, For lack of a better term, I call it meat alaya. It's all the meats that you would put in jambalaya, um, but instead of adding rice or pasta, I make a whole lot thicker gravy, and then we pour it over French bread. Yes. Now, what, where does that recipe come from? Uh, I, I did it at the first cook-off here uh, a few years back, and so uh, I did pretty good, so I decided to do it again. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, what kind of sauce you got in there? Uh, that is Richard's. Gotcha. I, I like the way that's uh, tendering up in there. So, so basically, what you're making is when everybody's dumping their rice in and they say, man, this will be good on some French bread, 
That's what we're going to have. That's exactly what we're going to have. Just a little bit thicker, that's all. Awesome, bro. Hey, good luck. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, man. Tell me what's in the pot. So we got a fresh sausage, chicken, and pork sauce pecan. Man, you got some meat in there, we bro. What, what, what all's in there? So we got fresh sausage. This comes from Vero Supermarket in Lutcher. Uh -huh. And then we got some temple meat. We got about 12 pounds of temple oh, meat. Wow. And then we had some uh, boneless chicken thighs in there, but those are going to break down and... By the time it's ready to eat, you're not even going to know what's in there. You're just going to taste the flavor. From It'll be in every bite. It'll be in every little bite. Yes, now, where, this, where does this recipe come from? So this recipe comes from, I learned how to cook this at Grand Point Hunting Club. Ah. And back in the swamp, the old men used to cook a big pot of sauce pecan on Friday nights at the hunting club. And then we'd eat on it all weekend. Yes, indeed. Hey, good sure. luck to Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Tell me what's in the pot. Uh, this is corn and shrimp and andouille um, creo. It smells so good. I come walking around and the flavor hit me. Now, uh, where does this recipe come from? Well, it's a little a mixture. Um, it's Creole, which is a New Orleans style. So the base of it comes from a New Orleans tradition. And uh, the recipe actually got put together in my kitchen. I had to figure out how much of what yeah. and blend those flavors. Awesome. I'll do it. Well, it smells really good. I'm going to say good luck to y'all. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, man. Tell me what you got in the pot today. Well, what we got in the pot today is uh, a whole bunch of love. <laughs> Actually, I'm doing a, uh, a deer meat spaghetti. You know, I got uh, deer meat, deer ground meat, and I got some uh, homemade meatballs. Now you're going to cook Oh, stuff with cheese, too. Now, cheese inside the meatball. Yes, indeed. That could be the kicker for the judge right there, that cheese in the middle. I'm hoping. It's in the pot. Right now. All right, we got some onions browning in the pot right now. Uh, when onions are brown, we're going to add our pork, chicken, and sausage back to the pot. Uh, bring that together, and then we're going to uh, turn it into a pastalaya with rotini noodles. Oh, the rotini. Yes. I like that. I like that, too. Now, uh, where does this recipe come from? Where? Where? It's just one we kind of perfected over the years. Uh, just took what we usually make jambalaya with and just made pasta lye out of it. So I do throw in some uh, different cream of soups yeah. to, to make it a little extra uh, flavorful and a little little moist. So uh, that's what we got. Gotcha. Hey, good luck to y'all. All right, thank you. thank you. All right, tell me what's in the pot. Uh, it's a pork and sausage, uh, I mean pork and chicken gumbo, uh, jambalaya and uh, Put a ponce, uh, this was a pig's belly sewed up and with ground pork in it, and they smoke it, and we put that in there. It kind of breaks up as ground meat. And, and that's what I'm smelling, that smoke yeah. flavor yeah. coming out of there, yeah. man. And you got a heck of a color in there, bro. Uh, Every, everything has a lot of smoke in it, the smoked sausage and the smoked ponce. Hey, can you get the color of the pot? <laughs> now, where did uh, the recipe come from? It was just uh, trial and error over the years, uh, just doing different things until I got it down. And once I got it down, I, I wrote it all down so I, I can repeat it now. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Hey, I'm going to say good luck to y'all. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rodney. You're welcome. All right, bro, tell me what's in the pot. Man, we got some pork backbones, a good dark roux, and then we're going to make us a good backbone stew or backbone fricassee, as some might say. I smelt this coming from the other booth as I was coming over here. Uh, where, do, where does this recipe come from? Uh, this, this is actually uh, this is actually a deep-rooted Cajun recipe that comes from down the bayou. Now, uh, my parents probably got you know, I got it from my mother, and it was probably brought down from her mother and, and, and so on. And, uh, and you've been cooking it a while. We've been cooking it a while, yes. You know, it, it's not... It's not an expensive meal. It, you know, this is something growing up poor that, that we were able to cook, and, and uh, it didn't cost much money, but we could feed a lot of people with this. Gotcha. Well, it smells really good, and good luck to you. Thank you very much. Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies' night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air-conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories. 
like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, Chad. We're down to crunch time. How's it going? I think we're going to be all right. That looks like you're going to be really well right yeah, there. Yeah. I thought I, I could put another two or three beans in there, but I think I'm going to hold back on that. I, I think you're full. I think you're full. <laughs> you got your flavor right? You looking good? I believe so, man. Awesome, I'm happy bro. with it. We good. Awesome. We'll see you at the podium. Ten full, buddy. All right, bro. We're down to crunch time. How you feeling? We're feeling good about it. Um, I think all we need is some rice. We're, it's on slow and low right now. Gotcha, gotcha. You done I'm, tasted I'm happy, it up? Happy. We done sampled it and tasted it, and uh, I we, think it's a wrap. We right there? Just waiting on rice. You got it, bro. All right, bro. We down to crunch time. How's it looking? Well, let's take a look. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, wee! Yes, indeed. How you, how you feeling? One to Man, ten. Man, I'll tell you what. I think this might be a ten. We got a ten. This might be a ten. That's the fourth ten I've talked to today so far. That's, nobody came here to cook a two. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, good luck. All righty, thank you. All right. The rich gravy, I mean, when you taste it, you're going to see. Slap your mama, your grandma, everybody else. So, I mean, so I'm going to have to say you're going to say it's a 10. It's a 10. It's easily. a 10. Easily. It's another 10, y'all. Actually, 11. All right. If you want to. But you're getting the bones out of it now. You see the meat falling off that bone. The rich gravy, real nice. We got rice over here. You put that on there. Put a little side white beans on there. That's a dinner right there. <laughs> That's a winner, right? That's a winner. That's a winner dinner. Winner, winner. winner, winner. Chicken dinner. <laughs> All right, y'all. We down to crunch time. We down to crunch time on the... Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, man. How we looking? One to ten. I'm feeling... I'm feeling a ten. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh -uh. That's that's about our fourth ten in a row. We got a bunch of good ones going. Hey, good. Thank you. Okay, bro, we're down to crunch time. How you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. About to try it for the first time. All right. You, you're going to get to see it live right here, trying it for the first time. And this is where you're going to need, if you need a little pepper, if you need a little salt, you need a little garlic. I, th I think I'm going to leave it alone. Oh, uh, there we go. I think it's ready. One to ten? Um, Yeah, at, at least a nine and a half and a half. I call it another <laughs> ten, y'all. Another ten. At least. All right, y'all, we're down to crunch time. How we feeling? Oh, we feeling good. We feeling good. We just lowered the fire. And it's thickening up, making that gravy. Oh, yeah. I, I smell that shrimp in there now. And, uh, it, Can you it, smell it? Can you smell it through that mic? <laughs> it makes me want to do a little jig. It should make you want to do a jig. <laughs> hey, good luck. Thank All you. All right, bro, we on crunch time. How we feeling? I'm feeling. I'm feeling like a million dollars. Hey, I tell you what. I don't know who's playing for second. <laughs> Just like Larry Bird say, who's shooting for second? It's another 10, y'all. It's all tens. All right, bro, we down to crunch time. How are we looking? All right. It's looking like the oh, best one I ever made. Wow. It tastes good, too. Wow. Wow. One to ten, where you at? I'm going to give it an eight. Eight? You got a lot of tens down the line, they say. I'm modest. There we go. It's probably a ten, y'all. Good luck. <laughs> Thank all right, you. bro, we down to crunch time. How are we looking? Looks great. Turned out perfect. It looks really good, bro. That's my kind of jambalaya right there. That's what I like. You uh, one to ten? How you looking there? Uh, <coughs> I, th I think I nailed it. Awesome. It was perfect. Awesome. Not, Came... not too soupy, not too dry. I think it's perfect. That's how I like my jambalaya, yeah. right there, brother. You got it. Yeah, I don't like a dry jambalaya. <laughs> All right, bro. We're down to crunch time. How you crunch feeling? Time. We feeling good. Feel real good about it. We're... One to ten. Where you at? Oh no, we're ten. We're all the way. We're great I'm gonna to tell go. you what. Every one of them's at ten. All right, man. That's good. Glad to hear it. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking has the largest selection of grills and outdoor cooking supplies in South Louisiana. Let our team help you select the right equipment for your cooking needs. Our unique inventory of cookware is second to none. Whether you are looking for a new cast iron or ceramic coated pot and burner, a new charcoal, gas, or pellet grill, or anything to help you with your outdoor cookout, come to Galvez Hardware because good food brings people together. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. 
with biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans-style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. You're, You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all, they made it inside, and we got the judges in here, and they got their work cut out for them. They have 21 different foods that they're tasting. Uh, I want y'all, we're going to get their names, and where are they from? I'm Holly Pilgrim. I'm from Gonzales. Lawrence Callender, French Settlement. Tashana Baldry, Santa Maria, Louisiana. Paul Meir DeGeneres, Gonzales. And Roland Duce from Santa Maria. Right off the radio. Just off the radio, that's right. <laughs> now, Rolla, let me tell you, have you tasted some good ones so far? Uh, uh, yeah. You haven't gotten a bad one in all, oh. in all the years I've been doing it. I've, I've never tasted something that I wouldn't eat. So, see, so you've probably tasted four or five so far, maybe five or, or six. Third one. third one. Yeah. And uh, all good. Creative, very creative. Uh, find it, it's, it's getting more creative as the time goes on, so. Gotcha. All Somebody's right. doing a good job. I, I don't want to stop y'all. So Probably your camera keep, lady. <laughs> y'all keep on judging. <laughs> Crawfish season is coming soon. It's time to move into the 21st century with the new high-performance cookers and super boilers. With our new state-of-the-art technology, the 120-quart pots come to a boil in under seven minutes and the return boil in under two minutes. This fast return bowl is key to perfectly cooked crawfish, all while using far less propane. Now, no more mushy crawfish using the old, outdated slow boilers. Cajun living and cooking. All right, y'all. What a great day for dreams come true here at the Galvis Hardware Store. We had the black pot cook off the day, and y'all, we had 21 cooks, and we had some really good cooks. There were no losers. We actually made $4,500 today, and uh, I'm really excited on all the people coming out with no parking and all the fun we had, but it was really, really cool. I want to thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and we'll see you next week.